Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to learn about what is researcher agent. If you are someone who struggle to gather research information from multiple sources and turn it into a usable content, this particular researcher agent can help you in seconds. Before we jump into the actual demo and showing how you can use it in real time, I just want to showcase some of the use cases of this researcher agent. If you are trying to do a market strategy, to either generate a competitor, comparisons, trend reports, or product positioning brief, try to use this researcher. There are various use cases for this researcher agent, but I just want you to try this researcher agent in your own specific use cases and see if the result is gonna make a difference to your day-to-day -day work. Let's quickly look into what powers this researcher agent in the backend. First and foremost, the researcher agent used the deep reasoning model in the backend. Second, it is built on top of your Microsoft 364 orchestration layer. That means it is powered by the same Microsoft graph and the large language model. The researcher agent uses the retrieval augmented generation or RAG. That means it doesn't just look into or rely on the what the model knows. It also fetches data from sources like emails, documents, uh, your team's chat and your organizational knowledge bases. All right, let's go and look into how you can better use this researcher agent in your day-to-day -day work. First and foremost, if you can't find this researcher agent in your Microsoft 365 Copilot, go to Get Agents, click on that, type in researcher in the app section, you will be able to find researcher here and just click on the researcher agent and add it since i have already added click on open that immediately launches your researcher agent by default if your interface is slightly different to what i was showing you can similarly go to all agents and you can type in your agent name here and find researcher and that will automatically open the researcher as well right now we are going through an interface upgrade i will create a separate video later on the new interface let's go back to the current interface and let's explore what researchers can do for us first and foremost when you launch this researcher agent you get this prompt window whatever you type in here whatever research you want to do here it is going to look into both the web content and your internal content internal content include anything to do with your microsoft 365 then additionally you get this plus button so along with your prompt you would be able to add additional content this content could be anything about a particular individual or group of individual within your organization or any sort of files you want to incorporate along with your prompt prompt or do you want to incorporate meetings and email entities along with your prompt so that it can use that to give you much better result. If you can't find these in your recent file list, you can click on this upload button that gives you an ability to look into your devices and you can specify and pick the right document for that particular research. On the bottom, you can see some of the suggestive prompts. And at the bottom, there is a history section where if you want to look back into some of the research, what you have done in the past, you can look into the prompt, what you used and what researcher had come up with and you can either use this data or you can ask additional follow-up question as prompt to get meaningful insight out of that report what you generated. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to use few of the prompt to showcase you the power of the researcher. The first prompt I'm going to use is create a comparative research report on Zoom, Microsoft Team, and Google Meet. Include their features, pricing, market share trends from 2021 to 2025, their integration capabilities, and enterprise level security compliance. And additionally, I want some sources where it got the information from. So this is a quite detailed research market analysis I am doing based on these three products. To run it, just simply click on send. When you do that, first researcher is going to ask you some clarifying question. If you don't want to answer it, you can always click on go ahead and that will go and uh, proceed further. You can either click on this suggestive go ahead that's going to execute this. But it's good to actually read these questions to provide additional insight so that when you get the response back, it is going to give you in a much better format. All right, the first question is, do you need this detailed analysis of each platform features pricing market share from 2021? That is exactly what I asked. I'm going to say one, yes. I'm going to say two. Are there specific sources or type of sources you prefer for 
this research i'm going to say market study and insight from external sources and the third question is what format would you like the final report to be is it in a pdf word document etc so i'm going to say word document so now that i have provided this additional context along with my prompt it is going to be much more refined or tailored to my need or else i could easily click on go ahead to continue with it so now let's go and execute this so what researcher is doing right now it is doing this chain of thought process to start the research and in this particular step it is actually showing you all the steps it is going to take or it is taking to give us the right result so you can actually see what's going in the back end so first you can see that it started with the research it is searching for the market share trends exploring whatever the information we have asked it to do and it is doing the planning exploring uh, platform details it is collating all that information for us so it, rather than just giving us the output it is kind of showing all the chain of thought events which is happening in the back end and what are the tasks it is performing in the back end before providing us the report this is quite good because it is using the deep reasoning model in the back end to do this task for us so depending on the complexity of the research it need to do it could take from up to 30 seconds to 3 minutes to 5 minutes as well all right so for the interest of time i just pause the video let it run its chain of thought if you look at it there are quite a lot of uh, things it had done in the back end to get us this report i don't want to read out these one by one but it is quite extensive so if i have to give this particular work to a research team or like a team of people to do it maybe they would do a good job uh, but i'm sure it will take them like at least a week to come up with something similar or close to what it have uh, given us so let's look at the output so i have asked for what did i ask i asked to create a comprehensive research report on these three product what i want it to be included is the features pricing and market trends integration capabilities and enterprise level security and compliance it gave us the feature list and it gave us a rating as well and it gave us the place where it got the rating from so if i click on the source it takes you to a place where it is somebody have actually gone ahead and done this comparative analysis so i'm not saying that that is legit and valid but it is given you the source where it is got that information from then going forward it is giving us the detail insight on what each product is what are the feature highlights of each product that is quite good then it went ahead and did a comparison on the pricing on different platforms mentioning about the free tier and the paid option for all three products that is quite good and i have sources for each and everything so if you click on this citation it takes you to a place where it is pulling that data from and then additional some of the information on the pricing market share trends for these three products into these categories that is quite good again for each of these value there are different citation around these numbers so you need to validate that source to make sure that that is accurate and if you want to modify anything you can change that then quite a lot of details on integration capabilities um enterprise level security and compliance report what each of these particular product offers you can always click on this edit in pages when you do that that report is been pulled into this canvas so i can now work on it real time with somebody else with this report or i can just copy it and put it in word file or whatever i want to do i can do that so now i have an ability to either share it with someone or copy a component or start modifying or um start adding more details into this report All right so that's a quick demo on how you can use the researcher agent um i would highly encourage you to start playing with it ask some questions which is grounded in your organizational data and start using this i will see you on the next one take care